up champagne and rosé It's my game Please fill my cup champagne and rosé Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sadie's. Make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an upload. So, um, I am actually on my way. I'm driving myself. I'm actually on my way to a, um, a seminar called from no business to big business and my mom is one of my mom is actually one of the panelists on there and so it's going to be a lot of entrepreneurs there they're going to be dropping some gems so i wanted to actually do a video um on my way there just talking to you guys a little bit and then i'll insert some clips from it um so that you guys can you know get a few tips from them and then i'll kind of elaborate at the end of this video and just basically let you guys know what i learned from the seminar because and i bought my book and everything because even though i'm here to support my mom i have to take advantage of the opportunity because it's people actually paying to come to this event to learn things so i figured since i'm a young entrepreneur let me bring my book Book that I bring everywhere with me when I want to take my notes and just you know take a few notes so um be sure to give this video a thumbs up this is going to be a part of the boss babe series so I will see you guys at the end of this video I hope you guys enjoy it I don't know what it like. I still believe I hope I was able to encourage you tonight and to let you know that you can go from no business to big business come on come on break or whatever and I'm sweating because it's hot outside but I had to take my freaking shoes off and put on my flats because y'all my feet was hurting and the way like the the um the walk up is is like it's rocky so I had to um I had to use um Put on my flat, so I'm gonna go back in now. I'll talk to y'all when I'm done. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna look like we, we wanna look and be important, but in reality, sometimes we get beat up behind the scenes, y'all. We, we get cross. We, 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 on the, we on the competition. We don't even know, you know. And a lot of times we battle the things within ourselves because we know, we know, like God, I know what you gave me, but God, sometimes I don't feel important. I don't feel it's, it's valuable. And, and we'll sit back while we see other people go forward. And then sometimes God has to process each one of us very different. Yeah. See, you may be in the earth. The last time I checked, every time you, you cut your grass, what it do it grow back? Right. <laughs> every time I cut, I used to have a, a pear tree in my backyard. And I would go and I would, I have swimming pool in my backyard in Arkansas and all the pears would fall over in the pool and they would always mess up the pH of my pool and so I was like let me just cut this pear tree down let me my girl said baby you don't cut down things that bear fruit I said well you know we keep messing up my pool we cut the whole tree down a couple of months guess what sprouts was growing up through the stump of the tree there is no lack and limitations in the earth you cut your you cut your wrist cut your hand what does it do Heal himself. God is a, a God of rest, restoration. He's a God of healing. He's a God of expansion. He's a God of growth. But I don't understand why the people of God were the brokenest. Come on, the ones that are left. Hey guys. So, hey guys. Welcome back. I don't know. You know what? I don't need to actually do an intro because this is going to be repeating from. from yesterday's vlog um about the function that i went to with my mom it was really really good very very few key pointers you guys will get to see the clips that i inserted um i went to sleep i was so exhausted after because it like turned into church afterwards <laughs> and so i was just like so tired because i had been doing things all day the day before so um yeah it was really good so if you guys enjoy the clips that I posted before, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I just finished doing another client make. I actually today is Sunday. I was gonna I wasn't actually gonna go to church because I was so exhausted from last night. I didn't get into about one. And then um aside from not getting in at one, aside from not getting in at one, uh not not getting in until one, um, I had to wake up six o'clock 
this morning to do makeup. So I was like really, really tired. So, um, look at my client. She was showing up. Um, so, well, this one was pretty. So I did my client's makeup. Can you guys see? I did her and her daughter's makeup for their for her wedding because this is like a re-wedding so it wasn't like a wedding party or nothing but she looks so pretty i'm gonna try to insert some pictures um but y'all when i say i'm so tired um uh, but i'm just so blessed i feel so happy i'm so grateful for my growth and makeup i need to start doing different looks though but i feel like i know natural so well so but i'm definitely gonna expand what i'm doing but anyways i'm just getting my brother and we're gonna be heading to church because he wanted to go so i'm gonna go because he could be trying to go elsewhere anyways i will talk to you guys after church what's up Creed? hey y'all so I wanted to come on here and give y'all the good news. I was going to vlog in church, but I, I kept, first of all, I wanted to be focused. How many coming this past? Four or five, four? I wanted to be focused, so I didn't vlog or whatever. It was a real good sermon. Maybe I'll insert some of the scriptures in here. Um, so if you're in the Miami area, if you're in the Pimper Pines, if you're ever in South Florida and you want to visit a good church, come to Potential Church. But, potential church off of sterling road i'm gonna put in information we have we have three different locations down here it's one in hollandale um i forgot the other location because i don't go to that down campus. south i'm gonna go tell it tell it ass. <laughs> it's down south oh and it's one in south miami so yeah, I just want to tell you, I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened, but I just want to say it's all in who you know. Like, me and my mom with this salon, y'all, it's been a long time coming, but I feel like this time, for some reason, I feel like this salon is it. Like, this is going to be that location that's going to take us to the next level because it's so crazy that this is the biz biggest location we ever had. Then, on top of that, it's been like a delay in certain things so i just and then like now it seems like everything is coming together even like people who we working with even like people who we was working with like just being just favor just finding favor with people like you can't buy that so i'm just so grateful y'all's coming together I, i'm not showing y'all nothing about the salon because once the salon is fully together i'm gonna do a full luxury salon tour because it's gonna be bomb so yeah, stay tuned. But me and my mom are going in the mall to find my brother a father's day gift. My mama is itching to get on camera, so I'm gonna let her say a few words. I gotta treat her like she in church. Just say briefly, talk to the people briefly, <laughs> cause she be ready to go in. But we gonna get my brother a father's day gift um, in the mall. So go ahead, mom. What you wanna say to the folks? Hey guys, happy happy Sunday. I don't know why she feel like I'm inching to get on her vlog. Listen, I don't even need a, a vlog to be popping. Mm -hmm. I got Jesus and I'm popping. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know why she thinks that I'm so pressed to be on her vlog. Y'all see me. Honey, these now ladies are so good. I know, that's what we eat. We're not chewing if gum. You don't know, YouTubers don't like them. They, they don't like them when you chew gum and talk to them. If you don't know nothing about these soft tree now ladies, listen, I grew up in the hood. Actually, the projects. These tree now ladies. Ain't gonna never go out of style till Jesus called me home. As a matter of fact, I need you to put some of these in my casket. <laughs> <laughs> Take them what you want. When he Take them with me because they ain't even get they, they don't got them in they got this in heaven. Mm. But um I wanted to come on and just say hi to you guys. Listen, I hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday. Listen, just wanted to give you some encouraging words as it pertains to business. When you are starting a business, you got to first have patience. Secondly, you have to have a plan. You got to know what your plan is. You got to know what the purpose is. You got to pursue the purpose. And then you have to execute the purpose. Listen, it has been a long time coming because we were waiting on our salon furniture to come from overseas. And um, it took quite some times which we had no clue that it would even take this long to come because we never ordered such a large quantity of equipment from overseas let me get some of that i mean i could spray myself she 
acting funny with a Tiffany perfume. This is almost This finished. stuff smells so good. Yeah, oh you my smell God. like an angel. Like a baby, oh honey. Like you just dropped from heaven. So, with that being said, I just want to tell you guys, listen, take your time in business. Don't be pressed by what you, what you see people doing on social media. They like to flodge and flaunt the great side of business. But business can be very challenging. I've been an entrepreneur for many years. I This is our third salon. Third salon. Oh no, fourth. Fourth, fourth, fourth salon. I, want, I was a baby when she had the first one. It was in the hood. Yeah, she had to be the, she had to be in the, the swing at the salon. All that right there. Y'all know how that is. Even though I was married and I had a husband, but it was easier for my daughter to go to work with me than go to work with my husband because I was an entrepreneur. That's the leeway of being a businesswoman or a businessman but listen I wanted to tell you guys as it pertains to business listen take your time if you're trying to open up a business listen buy your furniture while you home while you still doing here home or if you're opening up a restaurant buy all your stuff before you find the building because one of the things um, you could do is have a building with no furniture and wait and like we were for almost four months for mm -hmm. furniture to come from overseas but yet it's still our landlord gave us a grace period where they gave us two and a half months like the, like one of the months was prorated but then two full months for free which worked in our favor but if we didn't have that listen honey we would have been towed up from the flow up so listen I admonish anybody that's trying to start a business the more I go forth in business the more I'm learning daily it's a process you're gonna learn daily it's just like being a mother nobody ever gave you a book on how to be a mother there's books out there on how to run a business but in certain books it don't have everything in it and everybody business experience will be different but I will say this if you're trying to start a business this and the first thing I would admonish you to do is incorporate your business get your tax ID once you're incorporated and get your tax ID, go open up a business account. Once you open up a business account, continue to accumulate revenues in that business account. Once you have accumulated revenues in that business account, then start your business credit. Once you have started your business credit, then go out there. If you don't need a, a business loan, that's fabulous, fantastic, because you don't owe nobody nothing. Like us, we don't have a business loan. We do this on our own. Not because we don't have good credit, it's just simply because we prefer to buy minor stuff with, if we can afford to buy the minor stuff, we do that. But the business credit can use that towards something that's major. Um, like if you want to purchase a commercial building, you use your business credit. But to buy furniture for a business, I wouldn't admonish nobody to do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You could do that on your own. Um... Then I would say buy all of your stuff that you need for the business before you purchase the building. That's just like when you buy in a house. You don't have to wait until you get in the house to purchase the furniture. You can already have your furniture purchased, have it on hold. When you find the perfect house, you move in. It's just like that. It's simple. Dotting all your I's, crossing all your T's. So listen, I didn't come on here to preach before you guys. Long listen, we're gonna get in this small. I have to get my son and my dad a father's day gift. Yeah, I'm that woman. Love, 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 love. Purchasing my family gifts. So you guys have a blessed Sunday. Listen, we'll keep you informed on the grand y opening. I said brief. I told y'all I said yeah. brief. Anyway, so I got my little espresso because I need to edit some videos tonight. Let me let me get some. You drunk out of there? Mm. Yeah, I know she got a boyfriend. It's coming down on time. That's all. That's why I'm doing this out the window. <laughs> so I can't be drinking behind so She got a boyfriend. Mm, God's willing soon to be husband. Um, speak it out a little shit, kid. By shit, he called my shit. You gotta see yourself as not. You not know. I tell people this all the time. You gotta see yourself as you not a career girlfriend. You need a brush. You can get the little one. You not a career girlfriend. So you gotta make that clear. Okay. I'm not saying brush nobody. Oh, mm -mm. Y'all, I've been hanging around her too long with this foolishness. So yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all once we get inside the mall. Um, so let me give you. I forgot to tell y'all. 
about this craziness, this madness that I did yesterday. Let me help you out. You don't lie. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, was it the day before yesterday? So, I'm walking like funny because my legs are so sore. And I'm about to walk in the mall, my mom. But, um, y'all, I had... I thought it was a fire alarm in the building. And I had to go... I had to go down about 37 flights of stairs for my nephew me mind you i'm carrying my nephew too and i'm like coming down the stairs like oh my god i'm coming down the stairs whole wide was never no real fire and i'm like it was a mistake and so my legs is like hurting right now so but obviously i have on like workout clothes so people are just gonna think that like i'm sore from like working out so people ask me i'm just gonna tell them i'm sore from working out because it just don't make like no sense like oh my god but yeah so let's see what we can find for my brother and i know these people not behind me walking trying to go off fast so yeah let's see what we can find in here uh, we came in here to get to um I don't know. Uh, so anyway, y'all black one in the medium. We came in here. Look at him stuff for my birthday. I have shot with myself. And I only seen two things I like, but I couldn't fit the pants because they weren't stretchy enough. Like it was like just stuck, slim fit type of pants, which I don't like anyways, because they make my, my booty look boxed and wide. So yeah, we trying no clothes. Mommy on her right there. So yeah, y'all. We haven't found nothing for my brother yet. Let's see. So we ordered. There's a lot of coffee right in here, but still profit. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm on the job. 